Egan battling for it. Here's Guillemet. It appears we're on our way to overtime here as Shankar will just kind of back it into his own end. And well, fine work by our research team in the truck. I'm told that Prue has seen 1,476 shots this season. Gee, is that all? That's a lot of rubber. <laughs> Trying to get through the defense, couldn't do it, took a shot through the paint, and the buzzer about to sound, and that's it. We're going to a shootout. So Charlie Campbell coming in on Reese Prue. Reese shot scores! Beat him low on the stick side and celebrates. And Allison, slowly, and now picking up a bit of speed, trying to outshift him, scores! <laughs> Top shelf! So the offense beating the defense on the first two shots. We've got Matthew Toporowski coming in a lot harder. Toporowski now slowing things down, fanned on it, and tried to get the second shot away. He's disappointed with himself. Here comes Golovachev in on the goaltender. In tight. Backhand and he is stopped. And here he goes, Nadeau. Saved by Prue as he squeezes the pads and kept it just outside. Here he comes. Anderson for the win. Makes a move, quick shot, scores! Fletcher Anderson wins it for the Lumber Kings as they pile off the bench. It's a 4-3 final for Pembroke. Wow. Beautiful play there by Fletcher Anderson. Well, that's a big, big win for the Lumber Kings as they come back from a 3-0 deficit. And who better to win it than the guy who has scored more goals than anybody else on the roster. Fletcher Anderson, who came into tonight with 58 points, 27 goals, and 31 assists, scores the game winner as the sticks get lifted at center. A salute to the fans and a big win by the Kings tonight. 4-3 in the shootout over the Cornwall Colts. Here it comes into your living room. A final look at the game winner. Just the he, soft hands of Fletcher Anderson right there. Beat him he over the glove. He spot beautifully. Well, that's a character win for the Lumber Kings against a team that was ready to play in the first period for sure and jumped into a 3-0 lead, and the Lumber Kings had to really climb out of it to pick up their 54th and 55th points of the season.